Well, many of you will know that last year at our carol services and also this year at Good Friday and Easter Day, it was such a great joy and extraordinary privilege that we could welcome Lauren, uh, who is with us today as well, to sign those services. I'm so excited to share today that with great thanks to God, Lauren is going to be coming along and joining us at St Bart's on the first Sunday of the month at 930 to sign our 9.30 service. So we are so thankful, Lauren. We thought today it would be wonderful if I could interview Lauren and hear a bit from her, but you might like to put your hands together and, and welcome Lauren. So Lauren, as I said, we are so thankful to God for you and thought it'd be wonderful today just to hear a little bit from you as we explore this whole area together and really pray that God would use it for his glory. But just wonder, to start off, if you would share with us what first really grew your interest or sparked your passion in Auslan? I think um, since I was a child, I was interested in Auslan. I think the first time I saw Auslan was probably at the Ipswich City Festival, and they had you know, finger spelling, which is the alphabet for Auslan. And you know, ever since then, I was interested and wanted to learn more. Mm. So, luckily, luckily, I've had the opportunity to go to classes and learn Auslan in class setting. Um, and the more I learned, the more I was interested, the more I wanted to learn Auslan. Mm. So why do you think that accessibility, and especially Auslan, growing accessibility is so important for the church? I think accessibility is important for everyone. Um, you know, we need access in the church to share God's word with everyone, to help people have a relationship with God and have access to a community that shares their faith. So that is, that's really important. And like, all signs like any language. Languages is a very important part of our identity of our culture, of our community. So by giving access in language that we understand, we have better access to a relationship with God. And we're also saying that you know, we as a church see you who use Ausland we want to have a relationship with you. And we, we, we acknowledge and respect you. That is so helpful. And we are so thankful of your generosity to us and, and to all who, who join with us and we gather together. Now, you're also training for ministry and you're placed in a church in Brisbane, actually. And so you've been travelling up for, from Ipswich to... to uh, serve with us, and I just wonder as you train for ministry, how best can we be praying for you? I think always, you know, it's to help hear God's call on my life um, and where God's leading me. Also, for this new ministry with Auslan and finding how we can help it grow and connect with you know, people who need this ministry. Well, we'd love to pray for you right now. Gracious God, thank you for this day and we especially thank you for the great privilege it is to share your word, to help people be drawn into relationship with you through your son and we particularly thank you for Lauren today and her great generosity amongst us and sharing her skills and her passion 
for your glory and for your kingdom. We especially pray for her, Lord, that she will continue to be able to hear your leading and respond obediently and that you will equip her with every good gift from above and the power of your spirit for that very purpose. We also pray, Lord, that you might help us together along with other churches to really grow the ministry of Auslan and that together as a whole church that that might really enable your word to go to every corner to the ends of the earth. And so, Lord, thank you for Lauren and thank you for this special privilege we share and we pray you would really bless this initiative, particularly this year, and you'll use it for your glory. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We'd like to thank Lauren again.